Hi guys, Mr. Uh, Mr. Kaczynski here, and we're going to be talking about uh, Chemistry 101, the basic uh, basics of atomic structure. Okay, we talked about last class in that matter makes up everything around us, makes up everything in the universe. Okay, from the pencil you're holding to the paper you're writing on to the black uh, to the whiteboard that I'm drawing on. Okay, but all types of matter are comprised of different elements, and each element has its own special atom, the basic unit of matter. So today's lesson, we're going to talk about what the basic structure of the atom, okay? This particular atom right here is carbon. And you will see in the next video on the periodic table how to identify this as a carbon atom, okay? But if you look right here, it's color-coded for you. The atoms are made up of different types of particles. And the green particles here are what we call protons. And the red particles here represent neutrons. This, these two particles right here, the protons and the neutrons, make up what we call the nucleus of the atom. Or, if you want to think about it in simpler terms, the center of the atom. And you see right here, orbiting the nucleus of the atom, are these smaller particles called electrons. Now, it's not just a random assortment of particles. It just didn't happen to be like this. There's a set reason why the structure of the atom is so. And it's all based on the charges of each particle. If you look here, the protons. Okay? The protons have an overall positive charge, positive electric charge. The best way that I feel to remember it, think of P for positive, P for protons. Protons have a positive charge. Okay. Also in the nucleus, you have neutrons. Now, what word do you think you see within the word neutrons? I see the pre prefix for neutral. Okay. Neutrons have a neutral charge or zero charge. Neutrons are neutral. So the overall charge of the nucleus itself is positive because of the protons. Now, surrounding the atom itself, okay, the electrons, these have a negative charge. Electrons have a negative charge. Now, this is very interesting because the electrons aren't just floating around randomly. Okay? The negative charge of the electrons, they're naturally attracted to the opposite charge, the positive charge of the protons. So that's what's keeping them surrounding the nucleus and orbiting rather than just flying off into space. But at the same time, you know from seventh grade science last year that like charges repel each other. So electrons, the two negative charges, if they com come in contact with each other, will bounce off each other, while at the same time are still attracted to the positive charge of the nucleus. Okay, so the charges are very important for the structure of the atom. So in the next video, we're going to talk about what happens when we change the number of these particles.